I need to um, put diesel in the skid and I have the lead acid battery hooked up to the uh, diesel tank. I need to try to go get the lid off of the diesel cap on the skid really quickly. It's kind of tough. Um, so I'm going to do that and get this pumped over in there. I really love having this diesel transfer tank and I can take it out of my truck really easily with the skid, just with the forks. Um, but the lid, oh my gosh, it doesn't stay up unless it's like slanted backwards or like you're not on level ground, whatever. Um, it fell on my thumb right after I got it when I was doing something with it and it bruised my thumb so bad. It was like one of the most painful freaking things, except for tripping up the backhoe and hitting my knee straight on. Oh my God, that I almost passed out literally. I had to just like lay in the dirt and there was no bruises or anything after that. I think it might've bruised the bone, but um, with as easily as I bruised, I was surprised because you couldn't even tell that I hit it. But otherwise this was the second most painful thing. And so I just have my, uh, one of my ratchet straps in the hinge to keep it from falling down. But anyways, I'm gonna go try to take off this uh, diesel cap over here so I can get it filled up. and start moving some trees.
can clearing more trees today from the property or down trees I should say it's kind of nice because I've been able to push a couple over that were uh, either dead or they have a disease called mistletoe and it's nice because with the grapple I can just push them over I know you have to be careful when you push a tree over that the top doesn't break and fall down on the machine so I haven't done it with any like big trees or anything but some of these small ones it's so nice I don't have to cut them down just push them down and drag them out with the grapple the grapple has been working amazing. I am so happy with it and uh, I'm really like roughing up the ground or like messing up the ground, um, especially because it's a little bit, it's not really muddy, but it's still kind of wet. But this kind of stuff, the grasses and everything will grow back, so I'm not too worried about it. It doesn't look the best, uh, but I'm sure it'll recover pretty quickly. So yeah, I'm making good progress on it. Um, it's kind of funny though, because then I look and I see how much more there's left to do, but that's actually perfect uh, for my shirt because it says the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So it's so like, common for us to see like how much more we have to do and not pay as much attention to how much we've accomplished so there's some pretty pretty big piles of trees and branches and everything so I have definitely done a lot but it just takes time and it is what it is it's so nice to be out here <clears throat> excuse me and kind of my goal is to like a successful day for me is going to be CPA work and land work every day pretty much and also some downtime you know I'll probably do like one day to like completely rest and like not do anything uh, but otherwise I wake up really early especially if I don't wake up early Bodhi wakes me up early so I'm up early so uh, work you know for a few hours every morning on CPA stuff and then come out here and do the land stuff um, and I might switch it around you know if there's supposed to be storms or anything I might do the land stuff first and then the CPA, CPA stuff after um, but it's so nice to be up here and to be staying up here, you know, to where I don't have to drive. I used to have to drive an hour and a half, you know, to get up here just to work for the day. So then there's more pressure of like, oh gosh, I better get a lot done. Um, but for better or for worse, because that's the other thing, like I own this skid steer. And uh, when I had the backhoe rental, there was much more of a push of like, you better get this done. You only have it for a week versus now I own the skid. So it's a little bit less pressure, which again, for better or for worse, because sometimes it's nice to just feel that pressure to just get the shit done. Um, but I'm planning to just kind of have a goal for every day, what I want to accomplish. So right now it's definitely getting these trees cleared, especially the ones that I can see from the RV because I just don't like looking at them basically. Uh, and then I'll do the wood chipper and um, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to get it cleaned up. It kind of feels like a messy house or just like a cluttered house with all these dead trees laying around and it just creates additional fire risk which is obviously not a good thing so yeah but anyways so uh, happy to have the skid happy to have the grapple happy to be out here so grateful for this beautiful land and the, the opportunity to do this so I'm gonna get some more done I just took the diesel transfer tank out of the back of my truck, so I had to take off the grapple attachment, disconnect the hydraulic quick connect couplers, put the forks on, get the diesel tank out, and now I'm trying to put the grapple attachment back on. And I think there's built up pressure in one of the hydraulic lines because I cannot get the quick connect coupler to work. So I'm gonna try to release some of the pressure and hopefully it works because I was hoping to get it a bit more done. Um, but if not, I'm going to take a nap. So, um, but I'm gonna try to see if I can get this uh, to release and if I can get it to work. So fingers crossed. So I could get the one hooked up, but I can't get this one hooked up. So I'm gonna try to release some of the pressure by basically disconnecting this, which is a pain in the butt, especially with adjustable wrenches.
Oh man, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. There's the pressure release with oil coming out, which is great. Yeah. Sarcastically great. And I'm never wearing my gloves when I should be. Of course. And now they're all slippery. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the things I learned. because that's how I found out how to do that, or to check that anyway, so. Oh, thank God that took up and I can get some more work done. Now I need to go get a paper towel. Thankfully, I was able to get the Quick Connect couplers uh, to work and to attach. Um, and yeah, I found that video on YouTube that uh, demonstrated how to release the pressure in the line because most likely if there's still built up pressure in that line, that's why it's not connecting. So thankfully that worked. Hopefully I got it tight enough. Um, I just had to hand tighten it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to go get some stuff done. Here's a video of this pile of how much I've done already. It's funny because it feels like it's like taking me forever, but then I look at this and I did like all of that in two days. And just really a few hours each day so far. And then some of these bigger ones, uh, the whichever I'm renting is for a 12 to 13 inch diameter. Some of these bigger trees, uh, I've kind of put separate because I'm not going to try to force them into the chipper. So that way, yeah, they're, I don't want to break anything. 